Did Apple fix the studio display's biggest issue or did they make it worse? Well, today we will find out in the most detailed webcam comparison that you will find online with a bonus surprise. I have a couple different scenarios as far as lighting, multiple different Macs. We have the LG 5K, we have a MacBook involved as well, and we have something called camo that I think you're gonna be really shocked by. Now, first, in order to update your studio display, you actually have to have the latest beta version of macOS Monterey. So once that is updated and installed, you can then find the update for the firmware of this display. Now you gotta download it and then it ends up actually restarting your computer and then installing it on the display telling you not to unplug it. And then finally, bam, we have the latest version, which is 15.5. Now here is the quality of the studio display before the update. It looks pretty flat. You could see that there's not a ton of detail. At the top left, we have a section that's blown out completely. Looks really weird. It kind of gets better and then it gets worse again. And then we have a lot of noise in both my face and the shirt down there. With that, this is a center stage camera, so it's an ultra wide that is cropped in, but the crop looks weird. I have way too much space above my head, and then down below where my body is, it's just cut way too short. So how bad does this actually look? Well, here is the LG 5K Ultra Fine. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. I mean, we don't have any noise issues, but look how dark I am. Now that's because this is a tough situation. It is a bright room, but behind me I have that window. So the monitor that everybody's comparing the studio display to, well you guys see in the side by side, it just does a way worse job. I'd much rather have the studio display. Now before we see the firmware fix, this is what a 16 inch MacBook Pro looks like, the brand new one with the M1 Max. I did prop it up on the box at the same angle. And I would say that other than the noisy shirt and some noise in the face, the studio displays webcam before the update does still look better. My face looks more natural. Uh, overall, I think it's a more pleasing image instead of the much smoother MacBook. And now let me show you camo. Now, if you guys saw, I did a video on how to up your MacBook's brightness up to a thousand. This guy that created this app, he's actually a friend of the guy who made that one. It's an indie company. And look how shockingly good this looks. This app actually allows you to connect your phone, an iPhone or another phone to your Mac or your PC. You can even connect an iPad and it looks great. And now let's look at the side by side. My goodness, that difference is huge. My face looks more natural, a little bit warm, but we'll get to that. The shirt, there's so much detail, no noise at all. It looks fantastic and look at the blur. That is actually natural blur from my iPhone. Now they actually do have a portrait mode that you can enable and it's processed on your phone so it doesn't take up CPU power. So that's the blur and I'll show you the app in a bit. But overall using your phone is way better than any of these. Now we have the update installed. Let's see what that update looks like. So here you guys go, there is the update. Uh, it definitely looks a lot worse than the camo, but in general, you'll notice how much lower the framing is. So Apple actually went in, they cropped it in differently, lowered it, this, the monitor was set up exactly the same. And of course they added a lot more contrast. Now, there's a couple weak things that are a little bit weird. Uh, first off, there's actually too much contrast. My shirt is actually crushed at the bottom right. And second, there is no noise in my shirt at all. That's completely gone. My shirt it actually lost detail, but my face gained detail. So this is a lot of processing going on where they're adding noise reduction in certain areas and sharpening, but not in other areas. Overall though, I would say that it does look a lot better than it did before, at least in that scenario. Now I also tested out the whole center stage feature, which I'll show you, but let's take a look in this room right here where we do have some pretty good lighting, but it is a little bit darker. Right here is the shot. Once again, we have too much headroom, but actually doesn't look too bad. Once again, we see all that noise in the shirt in the face, but it's the colors look pretty dang good. 
This is what the LG looks like right here, guys. Way too crushed, too much contrast. Uh, the colors may be a little bit more natural, but probably too blue. Here's a shot from my MacBook. We have no noise, but all the details kind of gone too. Looks kind of waxy. So personally, I would take the studio display before the update for this. And now let's see what Apple's fix does in this scenario. So here you guys go. Wow, that is a dramatic difference. We have a little more detail in the face. The noise is gone from the shirt, but look how dark everything is. My hair and my hoodie that I'm wearing right now, honestly, I think it's just too dark. And I would say that I would rather have the old firmware in this kind of a scenario with controlled lighting because I'm just way more visible other than that extra headroom. So overall, I am a bit mixed. I don't know if they actually fixed it or if they made it worse. It kind of depends on how your studio display is set up. But now let's take another look at camo because I was just shocked before. And wow, look at that. That is unbelievable. That looks like I'm looking through a window or I'm sitting next to myself here. Shockingly good. Not only the detail, the lack of noise, contrast is perfect. The colors are great. White balance is really, really good looking. Man, okay. <laughs> Let's look at it side by side with Apple's fixed firmware for the studio display. Oh man, there you go. That is just a shocking difference in every single possible way. Not only does it look better, we also have some of that natural blur from the larger sensor of the iPhone. And these iPhones just look amazing. This is iPhone 13. Uh, the sensor, the processing, all that's done on camera, and it's way better than any webcam you can buy. Even webcams that cost hundreds of dollars. Now, of course, you can enable blur if you want it. There's that portrait mode, and then this is kind of the effect that you get. Now I'll show you how to get and set up camo, but first I wanna show you guys the difference in center stage. Previously there was that image, tons of noise. Uh, it would kind of frame you a little bit weird. And then you have a delay when you're shifting sides or adjusting your framing. And afterwards we have the quality difference. It's framed a little bit better. And then it is quite responsive when you're just moving around and adjusting. Now I have a link to camo down in the video description below if you guys wanna check it out, but it's super simple. You can actually use it for free. There's a free version and a paid version, but you just go to the app store, you download the camo app, and then once you launch it, it'll tell you and actually give you a link to be able to set up the camo studio on your desktop, and once you do, you just plug your phone into your computer and launch the app, that is it. So look at that, guys. Look how good that looks. I'm just plugged in with the lightning cable that came with my phone. Um, I'm a little high here because I don't have a mount for it. I literally just used a piece of tape and I put it down on top of the monitor. Uh, Camo, they recommend this $15 grip arm that you just pop your phone onto and put in the perfect position. Uh, and I'll link that down in the description as well. Look how good this looks in the auto setting. Uh, now I do have the paid version and they have different ways you can pay for it. Look, we can go ahead and switch to an ultra wide or we could change to the telephoto. Oh geez, look at those pores. <laughs> Man, so you have the option to change if you want to the selfie camera, change the quality. Uh, there's actually even focus. So if you have issues with stuff going out of focus with your webcam or it's back focused, look at this, you can literally just adjust it and set it manually and then it literally will not pulse or change or anything like that. There's different effects. Right now I have the camo logo opened up and set up right there, but you can actually just remove it or you can change to any logo you want. If you wanna show up a logo, you do hotkeys. The cool thing is there's also exposure. So if say you have some lights that are strobing, a lot of the colorful LEDs do, you can just go ahead and adjust your shutter speed to get rid of that. You can adjust your ISO if you want to. Of course, we have white balance, flash if you want it. So here, I'll turn the flash on. I don't know if you guys could see, literally I can adjust the brightness if you're in a darker room, you wanna fill in, that is super cool. Of course, your contrast, if it's a little too contrasty, bam, you can change that so you can fix the all your settings. You can add a little bit of sharpening if you want to. Say you're a little bit too uh, warm looking. Let me go ahead and adjust my hue a little bit. 
bam, we can just fix that. And I think they're actually gonna be supporting the studio camera as well. So if you don't like the way Apple fixed it, you don't like all that extra contrast, uh, they're gonna be supporting the internal camera so you can do all these tweaks with that in a future update. So if you guys wanna check this out, it's they're friends with the guy who made the display thousand nit brightness app. That is super cool to, uh, that we showed off. Go download it for free, use the free version, get the paid version if you want all the extra features. Um, and it's an easy way to use a smartphone you already have to get way better webcam quality. So you guys let me know, how do you think the studio display looks now compared to before and compared to the MacBook and the LG? What are your thoughts on it? Click that circle above to subscribe if you guys wanna see more videos and to help us reach our goal of a million subscribers. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next video.